Hello friends, today I have come back with a new feature called device mirroring in Android Studio. This was an experimental feature in Android Studio Electric Eel. Now it has become a stable feature in Flamingo version. This feature is very useful for Android developers like me while debugging the Android applications. Generally, if you want to debug an app in the Android device, what you will do? Either you can connect the device through USB cable or you will pair your device using Wi-Fi option. Then install the app and start testing the app on your physical device while checking the logs on Android Studio Logcat. But with this device mirroring feature, you can stream your device display directly to Android Studio for debugging so that you can interact with a physical device using the running devices window in studio. Ok, let me show you how to enable this feature first. Open running devices window in android studio. Here you can see to mirror physical devices select the enable mirroring of physical android devices option in the device mirroring settings. So click on this device mirroring settings. It opens the preferences screen for device mirroring. Or else go to Android Studio, Settings, Tools and select Device Mirroring option. Here select this Enable Mirroring of Physical Android Devices option. If you are not getting this Device Mirroring option in Tools means you are using an older version of Android Studio. Update your Android Studio to the latest version that is Flamingo to get this feature. Ok, once done click on Apply then Ok. So device mirroring is enabled. Now let me show you how to connect your physical device and debug the app using device mirroring. To connect the device to your Android studio first we need to enable the USB debugging in the device. This you would already be knowing but let me repeat the steps. Take the device in which you want to install the app. Go to settings. Scroll down. Click on about phone option. Go to software information. Click on the bill number 7 times continuously. You can see the message developer mode has been enabled. Now go back to settings, scroll down, see the developer options has been added. Click on this, scroll down to debugging options, select USB debugging. Click on OK to allow USB debugging on this device. So done. Now you can connect through USB cable or using Wi-Fi to install and debug your app on this device. Here I go with wireless option to install my app. For your information this wireless debugging is enabled only for Android 11 OS and above devices. Ok, enable wireless debugging and select this wireless debugging option. Now let's pay the device using Wi-Fi. Go to Android Studio, click on this option pay devices using Wi-Fi. On device, select Pair device with QR code option and scan the QR code from the device window. Pairing is successful. Close this window. See our device is mirrored in the Android Studio running devices window. And whatever you do on the mirror device screen will reflect on your physical device. Now run the app. App is installed onto your device. You can debug the app in Android Studio window without having your device on hand. And you can check the logs also for your app while testing the app on mirrored screen window. This feature makes the Android app debugging very easy on physical device. And you can access the device data also in device file explorer window. But there is a note for certain devices with Android 12 OS. If you have these listed devices then you will have to enable both the USB debugging and USB debugging security settings on your device and then restart the device to enable this device mirroring feature. Ok, you can disable mirroring at any time by going to the settings tools window. 
but you can find the device in device manager physical devices window as it is still connected over wi-fi and you can install the app onto the device and debug as usual but you don't find your device in running devices window because you disabled the mirroring option i felt this device mirroring feature makes android developers life easy while debugging the android app simple yet powerful let me know your comments also on this if you like this video please like share and subscribe to iraka tech solutions thank you